they didn't talk about it because they thought it wasn't a life worth talking about. And now we're doing this huge, enormous show that Apple was paying all this money to pay for about those women in those generation, right? There's something just, it's pretty poignant, I think. For all of us, this story felt so familiar to us, not just as Koreans, but as humans. And I think, especially when you think about the last few years that we've come out of, there's something about this story, the honesty of it, the lack of cynicism of, you know, just, just stories of people we fall in love with that I think was really powerful. To my case, my friend's case, I, you know, I didn't research all of them, but I just, I wasn't suspicious about, you know, the, when I read the script, there was timelines. So I wasn't sure about my age. I, 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 don't, I don't know how the, the audience will adopt that timeline, but it's well, I think, um, um, written and it's a, Sue, Sue did a wonderful job and all the timeline, I didn't get confused, uh, my age, so that she did a wonderful job. When I usually watch my show, and then I cannot enjoy it because uh, I was just looking at myself on the screen, that's very embarrassing. And then I always reg regret about why I did that. I could have done better than that or something like that. So that's why I don't enjoy it most of the time. But this one, somehow I really enjoyed other actors doing, they're really doing great job. All of them, young Sanja and little Sanja and their mother and father. And then I just fell in love and then I cried. And so, oh my goodness, I became really audience. So that was my feeling about this episode. And I was very happy. and. Please stop watching. 처음에 이 스크립트를 봤었을 때부터 이 이야기는 어 인종 국가 시대를 넘어서서 뭔가 이제 사랑을 나누고 또 가족을 가족 구성원을 이루고 살아가는 사람들이라면 다들 공감할 수 있는 어 이야기라고 생각을 했었고요. 그런 면에서 굉장히 많은 분들께서 그냥 살아가는 이야기에 대해서 공감을 해주신 것 같습니다. 아가 생길 기다 꼭 버티낼 기다 반드시 헤쳐나갈 기다 When we took this out to buyers, it was the first question everyone asked, right? So what language are we watching the show in? And I made it very clear that it had to be in the native languages and not, not, none of the buyers, all seven, they were totally fine with that. The one difficult thing about this show was because we cross-cut time periods between Solomon's generation and Sunja's childhood growing up, we had to figure out the entire family history. So even though in the first season we don't meet you know, the second generation, we still need to know what happened to them. Because it affects when YJ plays Sunja, she's living that past already within her bones. So that was one of the challenges of it, but we knew where it was going to end. I mean, I think that's one of the things about this show that people have to buy into, which is you're meeting different characters at different timelines and different time periods. See, I've been working in this industry almost 60 years, they said. <laughs> so my age, rules are rules, all same to me. But somehow this one is very different, the Sanja's character. Somehow I'm not sure I read the script first or novel first, but I read both. And then I felt immediate an immediate connection to Sanja. Uh, her honesty and her strength to, to survive and her determination to survive. So that was very, I wanted to play this role. I felt like I had to play this role. 
That is very real feeling nowadays. What we learned so much in this production is combine the U.S. process with the Korean process, mm -hmm. and they're very, very different. I think I cared so much about Sunja that it took a really long time for me to think about like how do we how do we bring her to life. Now YJ is a legend, right? And I, she's a mm -hmm. little bit intimidating, I'll be honest. When she said to me, I am Sunja and I know Sunja, you really do believe her. Sonja 집중적으로 습득해 나가는 시기라고 조금 생각을 했었고 그런 면에서 내가 지금 서 있는 곳이 땅이 그리고 내가 어디서 출발하는지에 대한 깊은 곳에 조금 혼란이 있는 시기라고 좀 생각을 하고 그런 감정을 좀 집중적으로 고민을 하고 그 수랑 애플이 어쨌든 코칭 선생님들을 잘 붙여주셔가지고요. 계속 시간 날 때마다 수업하고 그런 방식으로. The first generation Zainichi women, aren't they amazing? You know, these women are 100 years old. They have lived through, they've lived through history, right? They, when you look at what those women have seen and what they experienced, my life will be nothing like I, what I have seen in my life is going to be nothing compared to those women. And yet the thing that I found so amazing was they thought they had small lives, right? That woman at the end, she says, thank you for listening to my boring story. And it's mm -hmm. so shocking because it's anything but boring. They didn't talk about it because they thought it wasn't a life worth talking about. And now we're doing this huge, enormous show that Apple was paying all this money to pay for about those women in those generation, right? It's pretty poignant, I think. We are very grateful to having this story. And then I re really honored to honor their, their family story with Apple. So I'm very grateful, Apple, <laughs> for the Apple. Yes. Otherwise, nobody would understand or what happened in a small country in Asia. But you did a wonderful job, really. So. <laughs> Oh, thank YJ, thank you. <laughs> people like us, we don't need to walk in our family's shadows. So season two, we jumped to World War II years. So it's the two boys growing up. So the best of years and the worst of years, right? So we get to see that in their brotherhood. Aside from Sunja and Hansu's romance, we have like one of my favorite romances in the book coming. I'm excited for romance. And I'm excited for the new generation. <laughs> me being an actor when I have a script then I try to that was like a mission that is like a mission to me so I'll try to portray Sanja and then since she did a wonderful job because that uh, the, when she get old I mean Sanja uh, her perspective watching them you know the, the time line was different and that was very brilliant job she did and so I, whatever she write, I will try to do my best for her or for the story. I'm the part of the story. That's the, my mission. So, no, she will do the great job. I'm sure this is burdening, but <laughs> so. <laughs> yes, but YJ gave me two rules. She says, you cannot write two things. These are two things I will never do. Are, can I, are we allowed to say what the two things you said? She said, 
You cannot write, I will not dance and I will not sing. In that the dialogue was, I think, uh, um, 잘 사는 게 중요한 게 아니라 어떻게 잘 살게 됐는가가 중요한 게라. I was talking to Solomon about in the hospital, I think, while we were waiting. That word that was very meaningful. And as a grandmother, that was the lesson she got through her life. So Sanja was very brave and then honest. That's why I admire her, the Sanja, the character. 저도 그 파래 엔딩 때 노아한테 노아한테 했던 말인데 앞만 봐 언제나 앞만 mm. 보는 거야. That was a good line. I love that line she chose, but I also love the rooftop scene with Solomon when she gives Solomon the watch. What? Um, and I really love that scene when she says, "I used to think this watch was a curse upon our family, but now I see that it once saved us." I really like the way she did that line.